Hi guys, I am Suprabha. In this video, we will study Newton Raphson method. It is one of the numerical method that is used to find the approximate root for f of x is equal to 0. This is the graphical representation for this method. We will understand it through the steps. So, steps for the Newton Raphson method. First step find initial root x0 such that f of x0 is approximately equal to 0. We will choose x0, x0 as this. So, f of x0 is this. Now, find value of f of x0 that is this value and derivative of x0. So, to find the derivative, simply draw a tangent that crosses the 0. So, this is nothing but x1 that is the first approximate root. To find the first approximate root, this is the formula. So, we have the x0 from here, f of x0, we have the value here and f dash of x0, find the derivative of this equation. Now, find f of x1 and f of f dash x1. To find f of x1, simply draw a line that touches the curve. This is f of x1. Again for f dash x1, for the derivative, again draw the tangent that crosses x line. So, this is x2. That is the second approximate root. For second approximate root, this is the formula. That is x2 is equal to x1, we have x1 here minus f of x1, f of x1 from here. Again f dash x1, simply find the derivative of this equation, we will get the value. So, the generalized formula can be written as xn is equal to xn minus 1 minus f of xn minus 1 divided by derivative of xn minus 1. Now, let us understand the procedure through one example. Find the approximate root of x square plus x minus 5 is equal to 0 up to 3 iterations. Up to 3 iterations simply means that we have to find 3 appro approximate root. So, let f of x is equal to x square plus x minus 5 is equal to 0. Let us find the derivative of the given equation that is 2x plus 1. Now, to find the initial root x0, we have to find the f of x0 that is closer to 0. So, for that we will substitute various values and find whether it is closer to 0 or not. So, for f of 0, substitute x is equal to 0 here. 0 plus 0 minus 5 gives minus 5. f of 1 gives 1 plus 1 minus 5 is equal to minus 3. f of 2 is equal to 4 plus 2 minus 5 gives 1. So, f of 2 is 1 that is closer to 0. So, we will choose x naught is equal to 2 because f of 2 is closer to 0. Now, to find the first approximate root or first iteration x1 is equal to x0. x0 is 2 minus f of x0. Now, f of x0 substitute 0 here. We have already found out that is 1 divided by substitute 2 here. 2 into 2 plus 1 gives 5. So, value of x1 is 1.8. So, this is the first approximate root. For second approximate root or second iteration, we have the formula x2 is equal to x1 that is 1 minus 8 minus now, substitute 1.8 in this equation because we need f of x1. If we substitute f of 1.8, we will get 
zero point zero four divided by. Now put one point eight in this equation. We'll get f dash of x one. So the value is four point six. If you solve this equation, value of x two will be one point seven nine one three. So this is the second approximate root. For the third approximate root, the formula will be x three is equal to x two minus f of x two divided by derivative of the x two. Now x two we have one point seven nine one three minus f of x two. For f of x two, substitute this value in this equation. You will get. And now, if you substitute one point seven nine one three in this equation, you will get f dash x two. That is nothing but four point five eight two six. Now, if you solve this for x three, value of x three will be one point seven nine one two. We will stop here because in the question they have mentioned that find the approximate root for up to three iteration. This is the first iteration. this is the second iteration and this is the third iteration hope you understood thank you thank you for watching my video hope you understood the concept for handwritten notes just check out the link in video description for any doubts and suggestions please let me know in the comment box these are few videos that you can refer guys help us to help you so please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you